All right, boys. So if there's any chance of us actually getting something relevant, maybe a promo, maybe a, maybe a foot birthday, maybe a carnival this weekend, this Friday, the last chance for a loading screen is right now. EA Sports Vancouver FIFA British Columbia. No, no CR7, no Messi. Oh, my God. But we get Lautaro Martinez and... Oh. Oh, Magidi. Player Moments Magidi. That card looks... Ooh, that, that's a silver... Wait, is that... Please tell me that's like... Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me slow down. So for Silver Beast, we got a Magidi card, which is cool. Recognizing his forces in one game versus Doncaster. I don't know when that was, but uh, an Aiden Magidi. He's in. He's in. Uh, he plays for that team. I don't know what league that team is in. Isn't that team in like the third division in England? Am I wrong? Or did they go down to fourth again? I don't know. But um, essentially, we got week. We still have weekend league plus. So Silver Stars is really the only thing that we got. Silver Star. Silver Beast is there as well. Uh, no one really cares. And then uh, that is basically it man let's go take a look at the team of the week man i'm kind of disappointed i'm kind of disappointed let's take a look at spcs actually first uh if we have some like uh st patrick's day spcs that'd be awesome man i'm wearing my green as well guys if you guys are wearing your green then congrats to you man <laughs> congrats to you i don't know where i was going with that but did we get anything new anything new really 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 oh my god dude this game is so dead this game is so dead. Dude, if we... The only thing that can save this is if there's a, the, the Melier, the Leeds goalkeeper, or a Hinacho in the Team of the Week. If not, I don't care. So we do have... Ooh, we have second in form. Waman Gituka. Five-star skills, two-star week. Yo, I'm telling you guys this, man. If you guys don't have a silver Team of the Week, it is so, so good. This card is actually pretty solid as well like he's super super op in my opinion he deserved a, a um a future stars but six foot two medium medium five star skill that's a very very good card i know two star weak foot isn't ideal but that's that's not terrible this card Donna's, doesn't look wow good defending good physical good dribbling good pass i know he doesn't link to anyone and that's like the most irrelevant league in the world no offense to whatever league that is is that the greek league no offense <laughs> but um yeah that card actually looks pretty decent this one's not bad either we have pasolich as well we have gomis which everyone's going to be packing this week they have depreville uh we have Anacho as well how i said man which is this is this is a little bit disappointing because this card could have been this good if not better if he was the silver star for the week man i, I really wish we would have gotten him i don't know how we didn't get the melier card as well either I'm just really, really disappointed, honestly. But we get David Sori, which was expected for his clean sheet against uh, Atletico Madrid. Guys, if you guys want to watch Team of the Week predictions as well. Oh, we have a Jota! Dudes. I'm not going to lie. I did not see that until right now. This is actually kind of hype. Of course, we all have his ones to watch. He got a Team of the Week for what one goal in Liverpool's win, uh, which is great. And... I have heard so many good things about him. Not only this, but I've actually played with him in, like, uh, not managerial masterpiece and, like, friendlies and stuff. He is actually pretty good. Actually, I have played with him in managerial masterpiece, and he is very, very, very good, man. He feels great on the ball, very responsive. Um, he still does need a little bit of a boost, so a hunter card, in my opinion, would make him great. Great aggression, great strength. This is a very good card. This is a very good card, and that could be a very underrated card. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so we have Jose Font, Jesus Navas. Doesn't really matter because he has the Team of the Year honorable mentions. Uh, we have Kieran Tierney as well, 5'10", high, high. Um, this is honestly getting to be a good card as well, man. Defending is getting up there. Physical stats are pretty solid. Uh, I would, I would, I would put an anchor on him. I would put an anchor on him, max out those physical, get the defending to the to the high 80s, and then um, get that pace to like 97 or whatever it is. That's not a bad card at all. We have Koopin Miners in the midfield, 3-star skills, 2-star weak fit, which isn't great. Uh, but apart from that, looks like a very, very well-rounded card that has good stats in the right places. Aggression's a little low for a 6-foot-tall player, but... Not a bad player. That's another player that's actually not terrible. We have De Bruyne. We have Palatano, who I was expecting to pick up the inform as well. Four star, four star on him. Um, if you have his foot freeze card, you don't care about this. Shooting's a little weak. Passing's solid. And then dribbling is solid as well. Nothing too crazy there. Uh, Muller looks like a just an average card. No one really cares about that. We have Jota, how I said. We have Deghorse, who I was expecting. And we have Lautaro Martinez as well. Five nine, four star, four star. 
Um, with honestly, that's that's kind of nasty. Physical stats incredible, dribbling stats great. Balance is still a little low, so the reason why a card that's 5'9 like this doesn't feel super responsive is because of his balance. Like he he does feel decent, but he still feels like a little bit like I don't know, there's something off about him, man. I've used him. And of course it's his balance. So I would put an engine on him, I think. I would put an engine, maybe even a hunter. Something like that, because this pace is still a little bit on the lower side. But apart from that, man, this card is incredible. That's a very, very solid, very good card. Um, so, yeah, overall, Team of the Week, one... Okay, let, let, let me put it like this. One player in Kevin De Bruyne is the only elite player, elite tier player in this whole Team of the Week. Apart from this, none of these are going to get into your team, or you're not going to try and make space in your team for one of these cards. I don't think even Lautaro gets in there. But if you pack someone like Tyranny, it's not bad. When you pack someone like this guy, he's not bad. You might put him in, a, in an SPC, but he's not a bad card. Joda, once again, he's not bad, but you already have his ones to watch. Paul Tano, useless. Navas, useless. Wamangi Tuka, very, very good super sub. Uh, Hinacho, useless. Like, it's not a bad team with the week ratings-wise and players-wise. I just think it's overall pretty disappointing because it could have been CR7 and Messi there. So that is... Um, that's going to be that. But uh, we do have Aiden McGeady who we have to take a look at. Let me just look up his name because honestly, I don't want to look for him another way. Let's go Aiden McGeady. So he's 71 rated right now. What is his regular card? He has 5-star skills still. Okay, good. Uh, so he went from 71 to a 74, plus 19 pace, plus 10 shooting, plus 16 passing, plus 10 dribbling, plus 6 defending, and then plus what? That is 2, 16, 18 physical stats, which is very, very nice. Now, 88 acceleration, 90 sprint speed. Finishing's low, attacking positioning's low. Passing stats, good crossing. Agility's great, balance is good. Uh, reactions and composure, okay. Overall, it's not bad. That's a cool card. For a silver card, that is actually pretty good. That is actually very, very good for a silver card. Has the right stats in the right places. Uh, I would put a Hunter, max pace, max shooting, uh, and then you have a very, very well-rounded card with good physical stats. Overall, for a silver, that is not bad, but uh, that is going to be it for the content today, man. Um, I, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Just a very... Sad team of the week because I guess since we got weekend league plus we were expecting that EA were not going to give us R9 or not R9 CR7 and Messi which is um, very disappointing. So the content for today team of the week, which if you can't pack one or don't open packs it doesn't really matter, but uh, uh, until the weekend for weekend league plus and Magidi that is the only content we got for today. No loading screen, no new content, nothing like. I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty cool. It's cool. It's cool. But at the end of the day, the cards are useless. Right? But it's cool. If you wanna fit them into your squad, if you wanna play with them, if you have some kind of personal connection because you're Irish or whatever, shout out to my Irish people, bro. I talked to a lot of you guys last year because uh, I worked for an Irish company. Um, but. That's pretty sick. That's cool, like fun wise, but <laughs> good wise. Wait, that was that. This, bro, am I tripping? That was not. Was that an SBCs or did the SBC come out late, dude? What? Okay, so we have Connolly. Do you start? Yeah, this card's useless. <laughs> That's a useless card. It's it's not bad for the stats, but it's not great. Uh, we have Hendrick, who looks like an average midfielder. Nothing great, but a fun card to use. And then we have Horgan, uh, who... Four-star, four-star. Okay, good start. Uh, it's still pretty underwhelming. So, three very, very poor cards there. But we do have a Moments Doherty, which is good because he gets a perfect link to Aurier. Um, Three-star skills, four-star weak foot. Uh, and, yeah. Defending stats aren't in insane. Very good dribbling stats for a fullback, actually. Good passing, good shooting, good, uh, decent pace, and then physical stats, good stamina. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, but what is it? So he has to be an SPC, right? Did I miss? I, did, I didn't miss him, right? Did I miss him? Bro, I swear I did not miss a Doherty. 
I went through it twice, and now it's gonna be there, huh? It's gonna be there. It's gonna be there. Watch, 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 watch. Give me one second, bro. I am so confused. Okay, wait, so I'm looking right now on Twitter, and this Docker TSPC isn't here right now. It's 11 11, right? Or, or it's 11 minutes after content time, so by the time you guys watch this, it might be out, it might not. But there's no Docker T in here. I looked at either Irish players. And he's there in concepts, but he's not here. So I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going on. But that is going to be it for today, man. I hope we get that Docker T. Hopefully it's cool SBC. But overall for the content, it's cool they gave us some stuff. But in the end, am I going to care in a week? No. That, 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 that's just my evaluation. But that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys next video. Have a fantastic day.